We're going to demonstrate how three-dimensional imaging and computer simulation can be utilized in breast augmentation. This video will be narrated by Dr. Mark Epstein, Medical Director of the Center for Aesthetic Surgery and Assistant Professor of Surgery, Stony Brook Medicine, State University of New York, Stony Brook, New York. After capture of the subject, a 3D surface is displayed on the screen. The software uses an algorithm to determine the position of the landmarks. These landmarks are essential in determining breast volume, performing assessments, and determining the position of the chest wall, which is an essential step in creating a post-augmentation simulation. Landmarks can be manually adjusted as needed. The next step is to perform an assessment of the subject. Common measurements are automatically displayed, including estimations of breast volumes. The subject is viewed from above and differences in breast projection are shown. One of the most critical aspects is determining the borders of the breast by separating them from the chest wall. The breasts remain flesh colored while the body is shown in green. The anterior and posterior borders of the breast are outlined in white. An estimation of breast volumes, as well as the difference in volume, are shown. The left breast outline is cloned to the right side to demonstrate the degree of asymmetry. This can be examined from several different views. The chest is split in half and rotated inwards so that the difference in contours of the two breasts can be viewed from the lateral aspect. To examine further for asymmetry, the left pane shows the chest with the right breast cloned onto the left side as a mirror image, the left pane shows the left breast cloned onto the right side as a mirror image, and the center pane is the actual subject. The right and left panes can now be compared. 